Area is the space contained in a two-dimensional figure. Here's an example. We have a two-dimensional figure here. We have a height and we have a base. We can also call this a length and a width. This is a square so that we know in a square all sides are equal. To find the area of a square, we take the base times the height, also known as the length times the width. Our base is 2. Our height must also be 2 because this is a square. 2 times 2 is 4, so our answer is 4 millimeters squared. Surface area is the area of all the sides and the faces of a three-dimensional object. Here's an example of a three-dimensional object. We actually have a depth now added to our height and our length. So length, height, depth, or we can also call this width. The surface area of this square is this formula. 2 times the length and the width plus 2 times the length and the height plus 2 times the height and the width. By doing this formula, we will get all of the sides of this object. I know it's a square and all the sides are equal, but we're going to use this formula so we can use it for the same formula in a different object. Let's focus on the first part. 2 times the length and the width. Our length is 2, our width is 2. We get 4 millimeters squared. So that 4 millimeters goes right in here. Now we're going to add 2 times the length and the height. Our length is 2, our height is 2. So that's 4 millimeters squared, and that goes right in the middle here multiply that by 2. Next we're going to go 2 times height and width. Our height is 2 and our width is 2. That's going to give us 4 millimeters squared in here. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 4 is 8. So 8 plus 8 plus 8 is 24 millimeters squared. Let's apply this same concept to a rectangular prism which has three different sides. The formula remains the same. Surface area is 2 times length times width plus 2 times length times height plus 2 times height times width. So let's focus on the very first part. Length times width. Our length is 6. Our width is 2. So that goes right in here. The next part is length and height. Our length is 6. Our height is 4. So that goes right in here. Our height and width. Height is 4, width is 2, that goes right in here. Now we can go back and finish our problems. 6 times 2 is 12, 12 times 2, 24. 6 times 4 is 24, 24 times 2, 48. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. We can add up all of these answers, 24 plus 48 plus 16, and our final answer is 88 millimeters squared.